What up, guys? It's your boy, the Mad Hatter. Uh, I'm commentating this on Friday morning, so sorry if anything I say is out of date. I'm gonna, I'm gonna upload this video. I'm going out of town this weekend, so I'm just gonna upload the video and then make it public tomorrow. So on Saturday you'll be able to watch it. But it's kind of like a time machine here. I'm talking to you from the past. It's kind of sweet, right? But um, all right, I got two games here for you. Uh, both are kind of blowouts, but they're pretty entertaining. Uh, I'm using the Kansas City playbook, a new scheme I've been messing with a little bit. So check that out. It's it's pretty decent. Uh, I'm definitely going to work on it a little bit more. It has some promise, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, right here, I'm the Cowboys, and I'm going against the Houston Texans, as you probably noticed. So we got an all-Texas matchup right here. Um, this dude on offense, I mean, this dude, as you'll see at the end of the game, was not very good. I got, like, plus one from this game or something. So, I mean, he definitely was not a very difficult opponent. But it was still pretty fun to play, messing out with, messing around with this new offense. I definitely had noticed some new things in it, and uh, it, it works pretty well. So, uh, right here, I'm trying to play defense, and he gets down into the red zone, but I send the heat, and we get a sack, make it third and 17, and then he's not picking up a third and 17, so he goes ahead and kicks his field goal, which is pretty smart, and then we go to work on offense. Uh, right here, I throw to Miles Austin, get the quick pass in, and this, this offense is really predicated on a lot of quick passing, and, uh, and quick reads, but right here, fourth down, you can see I don't have really my reads down yet. I'm not... I'm not too comfortable with it like I am with Carolina. I mean, I could run that playbook in my sleep, but uh, this Kansas City one I'm still getting used to, so you'll see a couple dumb mistakes throughout the course of these two games. But right there, my defense still doing work. Uh, Mike Jenkins gets the interception, undercuts that curl route, and then we go right back to work on offense, hopefully uh, able to get into the end zone this time. Uh, so college football this weekend, Michigan plays Purdue. Uh, honestly... Well, I guess by the time you're listening to this, the game might already be over. But my prediction, I'm predicting it right now, I think Michigan will lose. Even though I'm a Michigan fan, I just think they'll lose. I don't know. I don't think. I think Purdue's better than people give them credit for, and Michigan has no confidence right now, I feel like, after getting absolutely – I mean, they look so stupid against Notre Dame. They, on, they look like a high school football team out there on offense. On defense, we looked all right, but our offense was just miserable. Um – they they should uh they should pick up the Carolina offensive explosion if they want to actually move the ball, but um so right here you saw I got in the end zone I'm up seven to three uh it's two minutes before halftime and now this kid starts to make some dumb mistakes I mean like I said before the last two minutes of any half and like game are I think the most important parts and you can really make a big difference in how the game turns out so right here you see just all the quick passes they're still nice in the red zone. Um, that's that's the part of this offense I like the most is the red zone reads. So right there, you see I'm able to get into the end zone super easily. Pretty much no no defense for this kid. I mean, he's not that good, but still, um, right here, Brandon Carr swats it down. Andre Johnson's not going to burn us over the top. Uh, that would suck. Right here, I'm playing a little wand defense, dropping 10 back into coverage, and that's why it doesn't work. They just pick it apart, but... Uh, right there, we switched it up to man instead of zone. He didn't realize, I guess, and Mike Jenkins gets another pick. Uh, this, these Cowboys are nice, actually. Uh, their corners are good. Their, their, their safeties aren't that good, but their corners and their uh, front seven is pretty good. So I like to use them. Uh, use them. Their offense, obviously, with Miles Austin, Des Bryant, DeMarco Murray, Jason Witten. I mean, they're obviously beastly. Uh, not against the Bears, though. Uh, we got a bear down on D. Tony Romo threw five picks. <laughs> So right here, uh, that dude quit right there after I got that to go up 21-3. This is the second game. Uh, I'm the Bengals. My opponent is the Redskins. I actually haven't played the Redskins too often this year, so it was kind of fun to go against RG3 and that offense. Uh, this dude's name was Sackmaster Flex, and he was definitely a little better than the uh, than the other kid I played. But I also I was more comfortable with Kansas City by the time I played this game, so you'll see. My offense definitely plays a lot better, and uh, I'm able to pull out a pretty quality win against this kid. So right here, uh, I messed up the user. Ray Maluga should have had that. He has anger issues, but he still should have had that interception. Um, yeah, so on defense, I was just I'm tr – my philosophy is make them dink and dunk their way down the field. If they make a mistake, great. If they don't, I'll stop them in the red zone because I'm really confident in my red zone defense. Uh 
I mean, you're, it's very hard to get a touchdown on me once you're down there. You're most likely going to get a field goal. As you can see right here, this guy does end up kicking a field goal. So I'm up 7-3, to three, and then we're going right back to work on offense. I realize that because it's Kansas City's playbook, they do have a lot of nice runs in there because they have Jamal Charles, so they have to work him into their offense. So I started running the ball more this game, and it really paid off. Uh, he started to play the run, and I was able to uh, take advantage of that and hit him up top with passes more often. So, uh, I mean, as you can see, just a lot of quick passes right here on third and nine. This was probably pretty frustrating. He forgot to put a spy or just didn't think about it. Andy Dalton takes off, and the gingerbread man himself is able to get the first down for me. So, um, if you guys want to, would like another ebook or something, uh, this Kansas City playbook would definitely be the one I would do it out of. So, just let me know if you guys want to see that. Uh, me and Route Combo are definitely thinking about putting out a defensive one here soon. But if you'd be interested in another offensive ebook, then then that's definitely a possibility. So uh, just let me know down in the comments below if you guys would be interested in that. And right here, once again, you see the two-minute warning, and you'll see these. This is the time of the game I take advantage of the absolute most. It's only seven to three, but I get the ball right here. I just go to work with this quick passing scheme. Um, it's really easy to run the reads are really easy so it's it's pretty fun to run and right here as you can see Jermaine Gresham breaking a tackle uh, it, it's really predicated on fast tight ends as we hit him with the hurdle um, so yeah uh, I was having fun playing this game Reggie Nelson able to get the user pick and I mean guys just don't don't fuck up in the last two minutes of the half that that's really gonna screw up the entire game as it did right here for mr. Sackmaster flex what a what a cool name <laughs> uh, right there Andrew Hawkins breaks breaks a tackle and he just runs to the end zone he was playing a cover one or cover zero and if you break one tackle on that you're basically gonna be gone I mean that's just how it works uh, so right here, RG3 trying to make something happen, and he actually does over there to who is that? Uh, Josh Morgan, number 15? Yeah. Wow. Uh, that was a little ridiculous, that catch, but I get him to fourth down right here, and I get a pick with Malauga. No more anger issues for Mr. Ray, and we take over once again. Uh, the last play before halftime here, or just about, we toss it up to Mohamed Sanu. We had him at tight end, so we could create a, create a matchup problem, and it definitely worked. You can see I got plus nine from that game, so pretty quality opponent. Um, have a great day, guys. It's your boy, the Mad Hatter.